had a conversation with uh, a, a, a professor, a, a, an MD from Stanford University. Uh, we were talking about when life begins and when a civilized society should protect life. And uh, he made the point that when you, when you take a sperm cell and a, and a sperm and an egg, put them together, and you have all the DNA necessary to create a, a, a life form, it is alive. And then the question is, is it, is it uh, human or not human? It is human. So it's life and it's human, and therefore it's human life. Could you let this audience here know what is your position and yes. why we should believe you? Yes, I, actually, actually you didn't quite get it right. I said that I was wrong for being effectively pro-choice. But that was my position back then, and that, that was my honest uh, position. But I, when I became governor, um, the first bill that reached my desk that dealt with life and the issue of life and death was, was a bill on embryonic cloning. And, and so I brought in experts to understand the nature of what was going on and so forth. And, and, I, and I had a, a Dr. Hurlbut, for instance, from Stanford, and, and I asked some of these, I said, uh, when you when you create a new embryo, when you take the the uh, the nucleus from from a, they were going to take the nucleus from a male skin cell and put that in the, in the egg of a female uh, or female's egg, would, does that create life? And they said, oh yes, it's alive. All the DNA is there and it's alive. And I said, is it human or not human? They said, it's human. I said, so it's human life. They said, yeah, it's human life. And I said, you know, to be a civilized society, I believe you have to respect human life. At that point on, and so I, I, I vetoed that bill. I vetoed that bill, and I wrote an op-ed piece of over two years ago, saying I am pro-life. My experience as governor, where I faced not just a philosophical discussion, but actually was going to sign or not sign a bill that affected life and death and the sanctity of life. I came down on the side of life, and I, uh, I noted with interest that Ronald Reagan had the same experience as governor. He was very much pro-choice, signed a sweeping abortion rights bill. But as time went on, he said he was wrong, just like I said I was wrong. And, uh, and I'm, you know, I'm quick to admit, well, I hope I'm quick to admit, I will at least admit that I'm wrong when I see that I'm wrong. And I was wrong in the past, and I believe I'm right, I am pro-life, uh, I will respect the sanctity of life. Every action I took as governor on this issue was to respect life. Now. I recognize other people have different views on this because there are two lives involved. There's the life of the unborn child and the life of the mom. And it's a very difficult uh, issue for many, many people. And I respect people with different views on this issue. Um, but I believe the right thing for the Supreme Court to do would be to say, we're going to put aside Roe v. Wade, or they want to word that, and allow states and elected representatives and the people make their own decisions in this regard. Thank you for the question.